Hi, this is Dave Dozer with the Product Management Group here at Exact McCola. And in this session, we're going to take a look at how to specify default values and add searches to your parameters in custom workspaces. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is come over to our system menu. And under system, we're going to go down to reporting services integration and management. Now, under exact custom workspaces, taking the liberty of already uploading um, a custom item workspace to the, um, to the folder here. So let's drill down into that. And then if it's not already defaulted to it, you'll want to click on the parameters tab. And that's going to give you a list of any parameters that are tied to that workspace. So you can drill down into each one of these parameters and set some default values or set some searches and create some other controls as well. So let's start with division, for instance. So we'll drill down into that. And let's say, for instance, you've got um, two, three, four, maybe even five back office um, divisional databases. And you want it to be easy for the user to switch between those. So a couple things we can do is first we can set a default value on that. So let's say we want to use the current user division. What that will do is go out to the user's HRM card, see what division they're tied to, and default that division in. But some folks may actually be um, in a cross-functional role, and you want them to be able to switch between divisions on a particular workspace. And you could allow them to just type that in. So if you've got division 001, 002, they can type that in and switch between them. But we want to make a, a smooth experience for the end user. So let's add a browser to this as well. So if we click on search here, we're going to get a list of all the native Exact McCola 10 browsers that are available to us. Now, sometimes um, you'll have to do a little search in to find exactly the one you want because there's such a robust um, library of browsers in here. But in this particular instance, we're going to be looking for the company. So I'll type that in my name search. Hit search here. You'll see there's a couple different ones. So you'll want to see what the name is and look at the query and kind of get an idea for what data that's pulling back. This is a little more advanced feature, so the person setting this up um, is going to want to have some familiarity with the table structure um, in the back end of Exact McCola. So I'm going to click on Company here, and what that's going to do is create a browser for me. So I can save this, and let's also do the same for CA Resource ID, for instance which is one that you'll see a lot on the out-of-the-box workspaces, but you can also utilize that in your custom workspaces as well. So this one, we can say we want to use the current user ID, so whoever's running this workspace is going to just pull in um, their ID and automatically run it for that. Now, we could do the same thing and hook up a browser if this was a workspace or report that you'd want folks to be able to switch between quickly. But let's say we want to force in their ID and not allow them to change it. We can also click on the hidden right here, and that's going to keep the users from seeing that. As one more example, we'll take a look at item number. And let's hook a browser up to this as well. And we'll use our items browser. So now we'll have a good, a good clean search for people to use to find um, their items. Because you definitely don't want them typing in an item code when you might have hundreds or thousands of items. Um, you really want that search capability when running a workspace or report that revolves around items. Now the other thing we can do in the um, parameter screen here is we can change what the literal value that the user sees. So right now you'll see in the term here, it's going to say item now. So we can change that to say anything we want, really. So we'll say select item number. And that's what they're going to actually visually see when they run this workspace. So we can save this. And finally, let's take a look at location here. So you, all ha you also have the ability then to define a custom value if you want to default something in. So we're going to switch the default value to default value. And then we can actually key in what we want the default to be. In this case, I'm going to key in my MA location. They can still change it, um, but this is just going to automatically populate it when they run the workspace. So we can save this. Now, let's go ahead and preview our workspace here by hitting the View button. 
You'll see it's defaulting in the division from my card. But I can um, hit the search here and I can see all my divisions that are out there. And I've also got a search for my item number. So I've got all those guys. And you'll see it defaulted in my MA plant. But I can still choose from any of the other um, locations as well. So let's refresh our report. There we go. We've got another custom workspace uploaded into the Exact Nicola 10 framework. In a few easy steps, we're able to set default values for our parameters, as well as hook up existing searches to our custom parameters as well. Just another way that you can help make Exact Nicola 10 a more natural ERP experience for your end users.